Okay, so here are our pictures uh, exported. So this is the original pictures we have. And uh, this is the created by TreeShape. And you will be able to send these to the lab, for instance. Let's see if we can do like this. And the lab will also get the information like uh, Fab 107 Rogelio, which is the name of the library that we will use in the TreeShape dental system. Um, this is more pictures from TreeShip Smile Design, and you can use them to communicate with the patient, communicate with the lab, or if you are a lab, communicate with the doctor. So uh, now I'm going to set up the case in the dental system. Uh, I'm going to do a wax up, so you can see my order form actually, you can modify it. I already set it up and imported the scans. Okay, so basically what, what we're doing is like uh, using the temporary unprepared model. And uh, since this is a trios case, we have digital impression. Uh, normally we work with a bridge. Uh, and that has been actually why we use a bridge there is uh, because in 17 and early 18, you had to put all the insertion directions on all teeth. Now in 19, you can uh, actually skip the bridge and make like single crowns because uh, you can skip the insertion direction steps if you're only doing a uh, diagnostic wax up and then not a shell temporary, because then you have to set it anyway. This is how we set up the case. And, uh, and uh, now we have the case in here. So here uh, I started trimming the scan. Uh, here are in 2019, you have also some new, new stuff here like refined upper jaw scan and refined lower jaw scan. And those are really nice if you have like holes in the scan or uh, like, uh, for instance, here you have a, almost like an island, so you can easily remove those. Um, then we go and uh, trim the lower jaw. So, so, so nor normally the libraries should uh, show up like this. Uh, uh, and uh, this is, uh, we can look at them here. So you can uh, filter it, for instance, if you want to only have the uh, fabulous mice, then you have volume one. Uh, and uh, here you have all, all the libraries. So we already choose the Rogelio, but we didn't make any design here. Uh, you have uh, Johannes, Anita, Olivia. Uh, we have both names of the actually donors for the libraries, but also numbers because some people are better with numbers, some people are better with names. But uh, all are in here, and uh, they are all also uh, so you have all the textures as well uh, on the libraries. So uh, they look uh, actually really nice. Uh, so I can show you some uh, uh, how I do the workflow basically when I am setting up this. Uh, normally, I try to scale the library first, so I use the uh, group uh, transformation or, or global transformation, where you scale all the teeth at uh, once, basically, and then try to find a size of uh, the overall teeth. Uh, so when I'm quite satisfied with the size, then uh, I go to the this arc transformation tool, which is uh, really nice. Here you can uh, press down control and then you can, uh, we can actually open this one up. So you can see how many pieces uh, or how many teeth you can move. So, so I can have like uh, move almost all the library. We can undo that or I can uh, just move like one tooth just by uh, scrolling the mouse button. Normally I try to have like a couple of them and uh, now we can like just place them a little bit better. Uh, we have also the review, which I prepared a little bit earlier as well. So, uh, so now you can uh, do basically the same thing, or you could. Uh, I didn't import uh, the pictures from uh, the smiley sign, and now you can start uh, start working with the, the digital wax up here, and then you can. Uh, I mean, you can just, like a regular T2, you can just move them around and place them. And uh, then you can uh, adjust it a little bit like this. Uh, I think uh, we have something like this. Yeah, something like this. And, uh, and then you can show the patient uh, with a really nice texture as well. And, uh, and then, of course, we, we have to set up the 
final parts one by one. Uh, if you're uh, doing uh, dentures, which uh, we're not going to have uh, time to show today, but uh, then uh, basically these libraries come in in uh, perfect occlusion uh, with upper and lower. Uh, okay, so uh, so this would work like for uh, additive uh, wax up, uh, something like this, and uh, oh, here we have a little bit. Plane like this. So this is uh, a live case, and uh, this is all additive. So basically, you can uh, just uh, go further with this and uh, print it, and uh, make a template, and uh, send it to the doctor, and he can try it on, and uh, you can show it show it to the patient. Perfect. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit trick because now you have uh, made, uh, uh, of course, made a uh, uh, wax up. So uh, when you have done it, we can close the case. And uh, in this folder, you will find if you right click and uh, explore it, uh, explore order, you can press F4. You have anatomy elements. So basically, this is your uh, wax up. So uh, I, I'm just going to prepare this uh, case really fast, and this is also a digital impression. Uh, and uh, I'm going to import scans. So basically, if you have a, a normal trios case like this, you can do the same. Uh, so we have four veneers here, and uh, I'm not. Yeah, this is the one. So we take the upper one. Uh, I can take this one, and the lower one. And also, uh, normally what happens is that uh, the doctor sends you a scan of the uh, pre-preparation. Uh, basically, the wax up in place in the mouth. So this is our uh, uh, pre-preparation. Uh, and what we are going to do here is explore this order. Uh, explore order again. And now this is a clean order, just like it came from the trios. Uh, what you can do then is uh, basically go to your uh, wax up, uh, which I already had here, like wax up, and take those anatomy elements and uh, move or copy them to to a folder, uh, rename this to anatomy for reuse, and uh, when you're uh, when you're opening your uh, design, uh, you're gonna have uh, the wax up. Uh, already in place, so you don't have to model it after the temporary. So here you see the temporary, and actually it fits really good. This is another case. So uh, the the wax up, of course, will uh, not show up correctly in uh, space because uh, probably wax up was uh, made in another case with, with another scan and somewhere else in three D space. Uh, so uh, it's gonna show up somewhere. You can also see the how uh, how fast the 2019 works actually for all calculations. This is uh, the wax up, and uh, you can see in uh, just uh, a global transformation, and uh, you wax up and uh, veneers are basically done. Thanks everyone watching. I hope you enjoyed it.